Hare Krishna, can you all hear me? Am I audible? Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Madhav Gopinath Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam Prabhuji, all girls to Srila Prabhupada, Gurudev, Nitai, Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bol. So we are very excited here today morning that we have association of uh, His Grace Madhav Gopinath Prabhu. I am personally very, very inspired hearing Prabhuji's projects, Prabhuji's, you know, his behavior, his the way he conducts, the way he encourages, motivates. So a few things I would like to say about Prabhuji's background for some of you who are new. So Prabhuji uh, lives in Singapore township. Uh, but before that, Prabhuji was brought up in a traditional South Indian family. He was uh, taught Rama and Mahabharat Bhagavatam by his grandfather in his childhood. Prabhuji pursued his engineering from Bitspilani and holds a master's degree in Purana Itihasas, astrology and philosophy. Prabhuji is also pursuing PhD in commentaries of Bhagavata Purana from Karnataka Sanskrit University, Bengaluru. Currently, Prabhuji is working as a global delivery director in a famous Indian IT company and he manages a team of 500 plus uh, resources and travels all around the world. And Prabhuji has been associated with ISKCON for more than three decades and received systematic training from several spiritual masters inspired by his, uh, inspired by his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivinoda Swami Shila Prabhupada and some of his followers. He has been teaching Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavata Purana in English, Telugu, and Sanskrit, <clears throat> and has delivered 5,000 plus discourses so far. Currently, Prabhuji is serving as a convener of ISKCON Rampalli, Hyderabad. A career counselor and a matchmaker, he is also the founder and active member of Shastraniti, which aims to create a digital searchable repository for all Vedic and Vaishnava scriptures with online and offline capabilities. He is also working on Purana Tilakam project to digitalize and make searchable all the Bhagavat Purana commentaries. Prabhuji lives with his parents and his good wife in a devotee community in Hyderabad. Hari Bol can keep going like this, but there's so much more to say about Prabhuji before Prabhuji, is, you know, I, I asked Prabhuji to speak. So Prabhuji has been, uh, has created a wonderful, vibrant community. His grace Radhisham Prabhu praises so much about that community. Every time he sees me, he says, we should also, everybody should try to do something like that, you know, which is actually a dream to have a temple. Prabhuji took me to a temple in Singapore Township. Prabhuji lives in Singapore Township, by the way. And uh, there are so many devotees, more than I think 100 families now. They're together. It's like a it's like a mini Mayapur, a mini Vrindavan, with everybody holding chanting beads. And, you know, they all have Mangal Arati session in the morning. They have systematic training. And uh, so many new people, um, you know, uh, nicely settled in that community, you know, uh, where it is materially, they, have, they are nicely situated in a job and spiritually they're nicely situated in Sangha and their festivals are so vibrant and unbelievably you know, vibrant festivals, much vibrant than many temples, I can say, if I have to say that. And uh, recently they have also in, been instrumental in opening a new Iskand temple. How many can gift one temple to Prabhupada? I think Prabhuji and his group have gifted one temple to Prabhupada. You know that this is one more center, one more oasis, uh, Prabhupada says his temple says. And uh, uh, Prabhuji has also has been instrumental in starting this new, big, big, massive project called Nanda Gokulam. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very big vision. I can't imagine how can one sleep with that kind of vision, you know, but so many things to do. Um, and I'm sure with Prabhuji's dedication and uh, the best team that he carries with him, inspired devotees. Uh, it is definitely doable. All glories to His Holiness Bhaktivika Swami Maharaj, who is, uh, you know, who has been, who has blessed all his cho choices, blessings. Probably a very senior disciple of Bhaktivika Swami Maharaj, and uh, I'm personally very, very excited that Prabhuji has been. I know I was been, I was thinking to invite Prabhuji for a long time, but since I've known Prabhuji and he has been very busy, so I was skeptical whether I should even disturb him. But I'm very excited. Prabhuji is here today, so let us welcome. Uh, no, no, before before I say that, before I say that, Prabhupada told one thing, Prabhupada told one thing, that uh, a grahastha who has dedicated his life, you know, um, has, you know, husband and wife together, dedicated their life for Krishna, are better than a sannyasi. And when I see Prabhuji and Mataji, you know, the way they are uh, completely only focused in serving Krishna and uh, inspiring so many new families, I remember that quote always. So let us welcome with three loud and enthusiastic Haribols, so our Haribols can be heard in Singapore Township. Okay. Haribo! 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 Thank you. Thank you, Madhagopinath. Thank you.
Thank you, Lilian Prabhu. Um, Lilian Prabhu, um, can you please sing Jarada Madhava? Oh, you want me to sing? Yes, please. Uh, one second. I'll... <clears throat> जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तीरा बन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तीरा बन जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तीर बन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तीर बन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे जय राधा गोपी वल्लभ राधा गोपी वल्लभ राधे जय जगन्नाथ जगन्नाथ बल देवा जय सुभद्रा जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पत गामी नयन पत गामी भाव तुम्हे निताय गौरांगो निताय गौरांगो निताय गौरांगो गौर हरि जय सचिनंदन जय सचिनंदन जय सचिनंदन गौर हरि पति तपवाना पति तपवाना पति तपवाना गौर हरि जय जय प्रभुपा प्रभुपा 
प्रभु पाद जाय जाय प्रभु पाद जाय जाय गुरुदेव 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 जाय जाय गुरुदेव नित्य गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल नित्य गौर हरि बोल श्री श्री राधा मदन मोहन जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा माय नित्य गुरंग भगवान की जय श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिंह स्वामी को भगवान की जय हरे कृष्ण फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू हिज ग्रेस लीला प्रभु फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हियर टुडे एंड लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स आई हर्ड सो मच अबाउट लीला प्रभु from radhesham prabhu and uh, radhesham prabhu trust lila and prabhu so much and then like you know organizes close program and uh, many other programs and also another experience is i met prabhu this year only previously i don't remember whether uh, like you know, i spoke to prabhu couple of times but uh, i had good fortune of meeting prabhu this year and uh, one thing is whenever we went to like you know distribute books uh, to some doctors and other people they would always say to me that we already have bhagavatam we already have the book dilan prabhu gave us <laughs> so i understand with that that uh, prabhu and all of you are distributing shila prabhu's books and uh, like you know conducting uh, many programs and bringing many many souls uh, to krishna consciousness radhesham prabhu is very happy with all of you and uh, that is our like you know um, perfection of life pleasing a pure devotee like his grace um, radhesham prabhu so i'm very happy um, to associate with all of you um this month and actually last couple of months had been really busy and also it disturbed the schedule of um, like you know daily reading because of uh, some other things that lenan prabhu said that we're trying to set up a project and uh, so i don't have a, a particular topic like you know normally i i do prepare well before speaking but today i thought that i'll speak from my heart and we can actually discuss at the end it will be a short class and then a long discussion so all of you can also uh, participate and i wanted to select a topic but uh, i was not sure what to select so i just looked at the calendar today is the last day of the katyayini vrata so i thought i'll take a verse from that section and also this holy month is month of margari and dhanurmasa as you all know krishna said in bhagavad gita masa naam margasirshoham so among the months krishna says is margari of course radharani kartik month is a radharani month so we celebrate kartik month more like you no know, um godjesly then we celebrate margari month month of krishna as gaudi vaishnavas but uh, south indian brahmins especially shri vaishnavas for them margari month is very special and that to margasirsha month is based on lunar calendar and uh, uh, dhanur masa is based on solar calendar it just started four days before so i thought it's appropriate to pick up a verse from this section so yeah i'll tell you the verse one second uh, prabhu can you make me a co-host so that i can share my screen you can share your screen prabhu ji yeah you can already share your screen prabhu okay great thank you so we'll start with mangala chena prayers then i'll get to the verse then we can recite together namo om vishnu padaya krishna preshthaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swami niti namine नमस्ते सारस्वते देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणी नाम श्रेष्ठ मनुमी शचीपुत्रूपम तस्ज मुरुपुरी माथुरी गोष्ठवाटी राधाकुंद गिरीवर महो राधिका माधवाशा प्राप्त यतित कृपया श्रीगुर तम नोस्म विष्णादन्यमजानतक्षणमपि 
स्वप्ने विश्वेश्वरी तस्मिन् भक्ति महै तु किं विधजतो मृत्काय वाघे सद शीलान सद्गुण पुंज केली निलया प्रेमावतारान हम वंदे भागवतानि माननुलवम मूर्धानि पद्यक्षित आजानुलंबितबुझौ कनकाबधात संकीर्तनैकपितरौ कमलायताक्ष विश्वभरौ द्विजवरौ युगधर्म पालौ वंदे जगत्क करुणावतारौ जयता सुरतौ पंगो मम मंदमते गति मत्सर्वस्वदाभोजौ राधा मदन मोहनो नीलाचल निवासाय निय परमात्म बलभद्र शुभद्राभ्या जगन्नाथाय ते नम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो द वर्स दैट आई चोज टुडे इज फ्रॉम द टेंथ कैंटो ट्वेंटी सेकेंड चैप्टर एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ वर्स दिस द सेम सेक्शन फ्रॉम Krishna stealing the garments of gopis and the katyayini vrata so please repeat after me sankalpo vidita sadhyo sankalpo vidita sadhyo bhavati nam madarshanam bhavati nam madarshanam maya anumodita sosau संकल्पो मयानुमोदित तत्यो संकल्पो साध्यो मयानुमोदित अदर्शन वशिप ऑफ मी वशिप ऑफ मी माया माया बाय मी बाय मी अनुमोदित हा अनुमोदित हा अप्रूव्ड ऑफ अप्रूव्ड ऑफ सह असौ सह असौ दैट दैट सत्य हा सत्य हा प्रूव प्रूव भवितुम भवितुम टू बिकम टू बिकम अर्हति अर्हति मस्ट मस्ट translation and purport by disciples of his divine grace bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhupad shila prabhupad ki cha this translation is uh, done after shila prabhupad left his body by gopi paranadan prabhu and the purport is written by rudayanand maharaj because yeah shila prabhupad completed up to the brahma vimohan lila section lord krishna said oh saintly girls I understood. I understand that your real motive in this austerity has been to worship me. That intent of yours is approved of by me, and indeed, it must come to pass. 
purport. Just as Krishna is free of all impure desire, so are the gopis. Their attempt to gain Krishna as their husband was therefore motivated not by a desire for personal sense gratification, but by their overwhelming desire to serve Krishna and to please him. Because of their intense love, the gopis did not see Krishna as God, but rather as the most wonderful boy in all creation. And being beautiful, and being beautiful young girls, they desired only to please him by loving service. Lord Krishna understood the pure desire of the gopis and was thus satisfied. The Lord could certainly not be satisfied by ordinary lust, but he was moved by the intense loving devotion of the cowherd girls of Vrindavan. So this verse, Sankalpo Vidita Sakyo Bhavati Nam Madarchanam Mayanu Modita Sosau Sakyo Bhavitu Marhati. Lord Krishna said, O oh, saintly girls, I understood that your real motive in this austerity has been to worship me. That intent of yours is approved of by me, and indeed it must come to pass. Krishna is pleased with the gopis. This incident, this Krishna is speaking after he stole the clothes and returned their clothes to the gopis. And like in the whole pastime is over that we are not going to discuss. But even after getting their Clothes back, the gopis are not moving from there. They wanted to do one last thing before going. That is, they wanted Krishna's permission to touch his feet. So Krishna understood the intention and sankalpa of the gopis. Then he's telling this verse to them Sankalpo vidita sadhyo bhavati nam madarshanam. Mayanu Mojita so so Satyo Bhavitumar Hasi. My dear Sadhvis he is calling them. We call Sadhu, like no to great soul. Krishna is calling the gopis or Sadhyo and uh, Opayas girls. They are the most saintly people in the whole universe. Often missed, uh, often misunderstood by many like you no know, those who are not coming from a bona fide parampara people misunderstand gopis love for krishna that's why in the purport then maharaj and gobi pandan prabhu they are very careful like you no know, based on the commentary of the acharyas like you no know, um, their writing krishna says that like you know, Krishna is considering gopis are the most saintly people. He is calling them sapya. What is this? Like you no, know, they wanted to, like you no, know, they have lusty desires for Krishna. Then how can we say that uh, like you no, know, they have the saintly people? Narada Muni in Narada Bhakti Sutras. He is telling say Ajanma Brahmachari, we know, like no, Nardamani. And he is glorifying gopis. He said devotees should be like gopis. Yatha Braja Gopika Nam. Just like how gopis loved Krishna. How they did that is how we should love. And we should serve Krishna. Just like the gopis, Yatha Vrajagopika Nam. In fact, our whole parampara, if Chaitanya Vaishnavism or Gaudiya Vaishnavism, if we have to tell in one verse what is our philosophy, like you no, know, Chaitanya Manjusha is a commentary on Bhagavatam, one of the commentaries on Bhagavatam by by Srinatha Chakravarti Thakur. In the Srinatha Chakravarti Thakur, in the introduction of that commentary, 
he he wrote one shloka which summarizes very well the chaitanya vaishnavism or gaudiya vaishnava philosophy aradhyo bhagavan rajesh tanayah taddham vrindavanam ramya kachid upasana vrajavadhu varkenaya kalpita shrimad bhagavatam pramanam amalam prema pumartho mahan shri chaitanya mahaprabhor matangam tatradarana paraha vadidavas so we worship our gaudi vaishnava philosophy in four lines aradhyo bhagavan rajesh tanayah we worship lord krishna like the son of nanda maharas rajesh tanayah aradhyo bhagavan rajesh tanayah tad dhama vrindavanam we also worship vrindavana aradhyo bhagavan rajesh tanayah tad dhama vrindavanam ramya kachid upasana vrajavadu vargena ya kalpita how we worship krishna in vrindavan the darling of vrindavan how we worship rajavadu vargena ya kalpita how the gopis are worshiping krishna that is how we worship following their footsteps we worship krishna shrimad bhagavatam pramana amalam for us the top most pramana amala pramana is shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam pramana amal prema pumartho mahan our purushartha is prema generally we say right there are four purushartha chaturvidha purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha these are all called chaturvidha purusharthas but like no bhakti is transcendental to even moksha rupa goswami says in the introduction to at the beginning of bhakti rasamrita sindhu that like no even slight beginning of bhakti derives the concept of moksha so chaitanya mahaprabhu also taught us that our purushartha is not this chaturvidha purusharthas the panchama purushartha which is prema prema bhakti prema pumarto mahan tatradarana paraha so we have great regard for these things that krishna the supreme lord the son of nanda maharaj is our worshipable lord like na krishna in vrindavan no not in mathura ha not in other places krishna in vrindavan and we worship krishna just like how gopis worship krishna and shrimad bhagavatam is a top most pramana for us and prema bhakti is our goal and no these are the words of chaitanya mahaprabhu that's why we have the highest regard for these things so this is some and substance of our philosophy so how gopis worship krishna that's how we have to worship and gopis they are performing austerities with a sankalpa what is that sankalpa sankalpo vidita sadhyo my dear girls o oh, pious girls o oh, great souls i know your sankalpa sankalpo vidita your sankalpa is understood by me it is revealed to me you did not speak anything but i understood your sankalpa what was the sankalpa that gopis started this katyayini vrata is that they wanted to get krishna as their husband sankalpo vidita sadhyo bhavati nam madarshanam so you are worshiping me madarshanam you are worshiping me because you wanted to get me as your husband maya anumodita so so i approve i approve anumodita it is approved by me your sankalpa is approved by me satyo bhavitum arhati not just approved by me it will become true satyo bhavitum arhati like you no know, it will become true for sure your desire will be fulfilled krishna shtali i shall many times people say that like we like lord ram maryada purushottam he lived with his wife gentleman and when like you no know, he had to like you no know, when he um, like you no know, sita was kidnapped by ravana also lord rama did not look for another wife 
like no and then when finally um for like no the reasons known to all of us when lord rama abandoned mother sita also he did not like no look for another wife so his great personality gentleman many people say but krishna why is he dancing with this this gopis like no it is not appropriate it is not moral and some stupids like no they have big ashram uh, like no in infosys they claim like no descendants of brahma but they have no clue about the brahma parampara brahma madva parampara but they call themselves the followers or the kumars or kumaris of so brahma they say that next time krishna will come in more moral form they have a picture in the picture it is written like you know um, next time he will come in more moral form what is this stupidity that means that he has come now not in a moral uh, form and next time he will come so they have no clue about who krishna is who brahma is that's why they selected a person <laughs> probably and called him brahma and some other person i don't know like you know what they are trying to do but i never understood anyway so the point is here krishna approved the sankalpa of the gopis and you might say like you know, how is it appropriate how is it appropriate like you know, many people still have this question how like he can dance with others um wives two reasons somebody asked the prabhupad like you no know, why like krishna is dancing with others wives so upar said askal everybody is krishna's energy everybody is like you know prakriti krishna is the only purusha everybody is to be enjoyed by krishna like you no know, and there are krishna's wives so in fact you are dancing with krishna's wife that's what upar told like you no know, it's not krishna is dancing with your wife you are dancing with krishna's wife yeah and vishnu chakravarti thakur gives a beautiful explanation he said that all the girls in vrindavan are actually married to krishna how is that like now we see that it's no one is married to krishna like you know there's no marriage concept like you know of course still krishna left vrindavan he didn't marry anyone but vishnu chakravarti thakur says no 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 they are all married to krishna he says this in the commentary on brahma vi mohan lila You you remember the past time, right? That Brahma stole the calves, and he came after a moment later to see what's happening. Then what happened? Krishna expanded into all the cowherd boys, and also all the calves in Vrindavan. Like you no know, one full year for Brahma, it's a moment. Like you no know, for like you no know, human calculation on earth, it's one full year. So Krishna became every cowherd boy. Like you no know, Krishna became like you no know, all the anger calves. So. in fact like you no know, even balram wondered what's happening he knows that previously everybody was loving krishna more than their child like you know more than their calf or more than their child but now balram observed that everyone is liking like you no know, their child is also as good as krishna he didn't understand what is happening no, even it's not only brahma vimohan leela and even balram was bewildered in that leela so he asked krishna then krishna explained him so it's all krishna because now everybody's child is krishna everyone's calf is krishna so vishnu chakravarti thakur says in that year only all the gopis were married so when krishna is playing the role of everyone's child all the marriages in vrindavan happened at that time only so in true sense krishna is already the husband of all the gopis in vrindavan yeah there is nothing Uh, immoral about it, yeah. And also, he is the uh, he is the he is the supreme lord. See, Narada Muni, he is never married. He is um, a celibate. Even Kumaras, like you know, they are like celibates. We we uh, sing the song Radhe Jay Jaya Madhava Daite. In that, it is said Sanaka Sananda na Varni ka Charite. Like you know, Sanaka Sananda na the four Kumaras, they are all glorifying Radha Rani. and narayan is glorifying all of them and the gopis adha prach gopika nam so we understand like you know how great they are their love is not like mundane love between a boy and girl like you no know? in fact in the purport gopi parandan prabhu and hridayan maharaj 
they were with, with, because of their intense love the gobis did not see krishna as god but rather as the most wonderful boy in all creation and being beautiful and girls they desired only to please him by loving service and before that like you know they are mentioning that uh, just as krishna is free of all impure desire so are the gopis their attempt to gain krishna as their husband was therefore motivated not by a desire for personal sense gratification but by their overwhelming desire to serve krishna and to please him so they had no lusty desire like you know? ha uh, and see anything for krishna like you know? even if it is lust for krishna that is so great see upja like you no know, she met krishna on the main road in mathura the day one krishna entered mathura so like you no know, we hear shloka from brahma samhita panthastu koti satavatsara sampragamyo vayorathapi manaso munipungavanam sotyasti yat prapadasimya vichintya tatve govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami the great great thinkers muni panthastu koti satavatsara sampragamyo even if crores and crores of years vayorathapi manaso munipungavanam those munipungavas expert muni even with the speed of mind like not speed of light what to speak of the speed of sound like you no know, speed of light and speed of mind is much higher than the speed of light even with their speed of mind they have been meditating from crores of year years on the lotus feet of krishna but still they could not reach the tip of the toe of the lotus feet of lord krishna that lord govinda adi purusha that i am worshiping lord brahma is saying the same krishna who is not pleased with those great great thinkers is on the main road he blessed this hunchback girl upja just she gave some sandalwood paste she thought that out of lusty desire she thought this beautiful young boy very handsome like you no know, he was going and krishna asked her what is this she said i am taking the sandalwood pulp for for kamsa like you now she said and krishna said give it to me immediately she gave and offered to krishna lucky upja like you no know, even she like you no know, she is she wanted a date with krishna krishna went to her place and he blessed like you no know, kurja but see she had like you no know, lusty desire but even having a lusty desire um like you no know, for krishna is not wrong because he is supreme personality of god head but gopis desires are not like that that's why acharyas always like you no know, put the gopis on a higher platform like you no know, much higher platform than kubja like no no one's i mean they don't speak of kubja so so much uh, but you may think both of had the same desire but they are so pure their desire was to please krishna not like no enjoy um like no get sense gratification personal sense uh, personal sense gratification it is not motivated by desire for personal sense gratification that is like no gopis um that he was moved by the intense loving like no he is not by great she is in previous life we know from garga sam like no the book um, just um, uh, story like no so he had done devotion previously also otherwise no one can attain krishna just like that so this gopis like you know krishna is telling i approve your desire mayanu modita so so satyo bhavitu marhati you sankalpa ti desires in krishna consciousness for pleasing krishna krishna will make sure that 
that desire will be fulfilled see no matter a big devotee or small devotee no matter desire or small desire if we are sincere in serving lord krishna like no krishna fulfills that particular desire satyo bhavitum arhati he is assuring satyo bhavitum arhati you might ask when did krishna marry maybe he lied one more time here he said that your sankalpa will become true but we read bhagavatam later like you no know, we didn't uh, we didn't see krishna getting married to like you no know, to the gopis they are all krishna's energies eternal servants of radha and madhav and after promising to krishna after promising to gopis krishna actually danced with all of them like um, accepted all of them as their wives that is what is the ras purnima and ras lila the following year ya katyani vrata happened in margarima and ras purnima the next year ras purnima like you no know, krishna and that night is not like one night that night is like brahma's night krishna expanded it like that so so much of time they had like you no know, with krishna and they are all eternal energies of krishna like you no know, this wife and husband concept itself is material and mundane they are all energies of krishna and he is the supreme uh, like you no know, supreme lord purusha enjoyer so krishna fulfilled their desires for sure even the wives of brahmanas they had the same desire like you know, when they came krishna told very nicely you go back same thing he was telling to gopis also you go back like you know your sankalpa will be fulfilled like you know he told the same thing to uh, the wives of the brahmanas then why he did not invite them to dance with them see people claim people say that no 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 uh, krishna uh, broke the morality and uh, this thing see these are all as i told these are all krishna already married to them when he was playing the role of a cowherd boy but uh, in the society like you know krishna did not want to set a wrong example um that is why like you no know, the um even though the wives of the brahmanas vijapatnis had conjugal feelings like you no know, krishna did not give opportunity to them in this particular life but definitely he also promised that their their uh, desire will be fulfilled they will be accepted in krishna's association and uh, like you know, everybody satyo bhavitum arhati whatever desire we have like you no know, um if we are sincere in many times like you know, we also realize this thing we have some desire to serve krishna in a particular way maybe sometimes um distribute like you know uh, distribute books or distribute a bhagavatam set uh, we don't expect like you know this thing is there but it is there krishna will note down sometimes what happens we forget the desire that we have we forget the desire we desired something in krishna consciousness maybe it didn't happen we didn't bother uh, so much but krishna bothers he remembers he makes the point noted and when appropriate comes appropriate time comes krishna will make sure that that desire is fulfilled and um, every spiritual desire of every living entity every spiritual desire of every living entity like you no know, in course of time krishna will make sure that like you no know, he fulfills satyo bhavitum arhasi he is the embodiment of truth the supreme lord satyam param dhimahi we say that supreme lord param satyam he is telling that satyo bhavitum arhati bhavati nam madarshanam maya anumoditasso sau satyo bhavitum arhati i approve how i approve your worship of me and your sankalpa like you no know, is pure and it will be fulfilled it will become true i will make sure it will happen this is not just promise to the gopis this is promise to every single living entity like you no know, lord rama gives this promise uh, like you no know, to vibhishana he actually declares at that time many people uh, think that should rama accept vibhishana or not like you no know, different devotees had different opinion but lord rama said at least one time sakrudeva prasanna asmi ha um, at least one time sakrudeva if any living entity like you no know, prapanna asmi if they come and surrender to me like you no know, one time oh krishna oh lord rama i am yours you take care of me one time any living entity come and say this in front of the lord 
even though we forget he will not forget he will come like you no know, in whatever form sometimes as guru sometimes as like you know any other form and sometimes as parmatma sometimes as bhagavatam sometimes as a chaitya guru he gives realization but he will make sure that sankalpa that we had to serve krishna that will be fulfilled proper had this desire when he went to the juhu beach let there be a palace here for krishna we know the whole story like you no know, how it is fulfilled prabhupad wanted like you no know, there is a temple in london his god brothers like you no know, great great scholarly devotees of bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur they went they couldn't start a temple but prabhupad's like you no know, kipi disciples like they were three couples earlier that, that is their background before they had come to krishna consciousness three grahasthas they went like you no know, and we know the whole story how they pleased ha uh, did their pure devotion george harrison and they were able to get um, bhakti vedanta manner so any desire of a devotee like you no know, it will be fulfilled prabhupad wanted the like you no know, the fulfill the mission of chaitanya mahaprabhu that he wanted to take like you no know, krishna consciousness to every nook and corner of the world world now wherever we go there is prasadam there is there is prasadam there is temple there are devotees and he made krishna accessible the most valuable commodity in the entire planet he made it uh, like you know available to everybody in the bus stand in the railway station in the airport in the mall everywhere there is krishna book there is bhagavad gita there is bhagavatam and there are people with folded hands please take please take please take this is a proper sankalpa that krishna be made available in every corner of the world everywhere and krishna fulfilled not only for prabhupad and gopis whatever sincere desire every single devotee has krishna will make a note of the desire and definitely we will fulfill sometimes we don't realize how it is happening magic happens in our life there is nothing accident everything is orchestrated in a devotee's life why we meet a particular devotee why unintentionally we hear a particular lecture why we do certain things why we fail in some things why we get something or why we don't get something like you know it is planned for krishna for like you know for every devotee in different times it will manifest sometimes we must be thinking why like this happening krishna i had this desire i am serving you sincerely i really wanted this to happen like you no know, i i worship you like you no know, i did not want it for my sense gratification i want it to please you but despite all that it is not happening i am not able to understand your will what it is sometimes we may question this for years but years later we will have the realization why krishna did like that and he noted one time he will ensure that this happen and one more thing i wanted to share with you uh, is that this month as i told in the beginning it is margari month okay it is margari month and the in every south indian temple there is a great celebration 30 days like you no know, the dhanurmasa what we call like you no know, um uh, till sun entered uh, dhanur rasi Uh, till he enters the Makar Rasi, Makar Sankranti will be on the Pongal, what we call that is the day sun enters Makar Rasi, leaving Dhanu Rasi. So when sun is in this Dhanu Rasi, this whole month is called like you no know, Dhanu Masa, and Tamil they call Margari. Of course, I told Margari Sirsha is based on lunar calendar, and this is based on solar calendar. Sometimes they match hundred percent. Two years back it happened. Sometimes there will be few days gap. This time always we have uh, like you no know, few days gap. almost 15 days so or 12 days something like that so today is the fourth day of dhanurmas i am sure most of you like you no know, must be hearing uh, the verses of tiruppavai like you no know, from the temple nearby any vishnu temple anywhere in south india i am sure most of us south indians we must might not have heard in our childhood so much about radha we might have heard about krishna venu gopal uh, with rukmini and satyabhama there were temples all over but radha and krishna by proper mercy we understood the first loka the mangala charana like now after um after um like no proper pranam mantra had put another shloka right namashrishtam manumapi 
सचीपुत्र मत्र स्वरूप रूपम तस्याग्रज मुरुपुरी माथुरी गोष्ठवाटी राधा कुंडम गिरीवर महो राधिका माधवाशा प्राप्त प्रतिद कृपया श्री गुरु तम नोस्मेर श्लोक इज रिटन बै वन आफ दोस्वामी इन वन आफ दिटरेचर ऐ थॉट इट्स मोस्ट अप्रोप्रियेट फॉर अस् टू वर्शिप शील प्रोपाद विद श्लोक वै बिकॉज इट सेज दट श्री गुरु तम नोस्मी दट श्री गुरु ऐ विल वर्शिप विच श्री गुरु लाइक नो नाम श्रेष्ठ अनुमति like you no know, one who gave the hare krishna maha mantra to us and to the whole world sachi putra matra swarupam one who gave sachi putra lord chaitanya to the whole world and to all of us and also all the associates of lord chaitanya atra swarupam swarup damodar and all other, other associates and also what else shila prabhupad gave nama shreshtam anumapi sachi putra matra swarupam rupam tasya agraj murupurim mathurim goshtavati he gave us madurapuri and very specifically mathra mandali that that goshtavati that rundavan he gave all, all of us like no, we didn't know about like you no know, before we came in touch with prabhupada the glory of rundavan mathurim goshtavati radha kundam giri varamaho and also he gave radha kunda and giri govardhana the importance of radha kunda and giri govardhana prapto radhika madhavasa and he also gave radha madhav to all of us prapto yasya pratita krupaya By whose mercy I got all these things, Sri Guru Tam Natosmi, that Guru, like you know that Sri Guru, I bow down repeatedly. I offer Dandavat Pranams to Him. That's what that verse is. So I thought it's most appropriate to worship Shri Lopapad by that verse. That's why I put it in the Mangala Sharanam. So because of Shri Lopapad mercy, we got like you know who is Radha Rani. But many of us may not know Radha, but from childhood we must be knowing Goda Andal. we go to temples and we see on the left side of balaji there is lakshmi on the right side that is andal andal is the one who has like you know flowers in her hair popu like you know godai godai andal amukta malyada like you know so many names um, for andal but everybody knows we may not know radha but everyone knows story of goda sometimes you may think why prabhu so much about goda she is not from our parampara where is it there in bhagavatam you might say so there is a verse here uh, in the 11th canto talking about all the alvars yeah kalau kalu bhavishyanti narayana parayana kvachit pachin maharaja dravideshu cha bhurishaha it is told this conversation between narada and vasudev and then in the conversation of nimi and the navayogindra one of the navayogindras is telling that what happens in kaliyuga he is saying that uh, like no <clears throat> kalau kalu bhavishyanti narayana parayana in kaliyuga narayana parayana great devotees will appear for sure kalau kalu bhavishyanti narayana parayana then where they appear kvachin kvachin maharaja dravideshu cha bhurishaha the dravida desha the south india like you know many great devotees appear so like you know if you see like any parampara in our parampara like you know we have we hey even in gaudiya vaishnava parampara the great devotees like you know the goswamis um, like you know rupa and sanatan um, like you know um, and also jiva goswami they are all the saraswata brahmanis uh, brahmins of the like you know south india madhvacharya ramanujacharya uh, vallabhacharya uh, they are all from south india uh, like you know and many other great devotees be here kalau kalu bhavishyanti narayana parayana kvachin kvachin mahabhaga maharaja dravideshu cha purusha especially in the dravidadesa like you know tamraparni nadi yatra kritamala payashvini kaveri cha mahapunya pratichi cha mahanadi so some rivers are there on the bank of these rivers tamraparni kritamala payashvini kaveri ta pratichi uh, sorry mahanadi all these rivers on the banks of these rivers many great great souls have taken birth all the andals vedanta deshika is telling all the sorry all the alvars including andal is born on the bank of one of these rivers andal is born you know that shivali puttur and shivali puttur like no uh, shivali puttur is um, uh, shivali puttur is um, a birthplace of andal on the bank of um, kaveri and andal is born there like no, appeared there um, the, in the tulasi forest to periyalwar from childhood like no she is a great devotee of the lord and her sankalpa what is andal sankalpa same as the gopis that she want to become she wanted krishna as her husband so in the mood of 
then what is the formula? One has to follow Vrajivas. If anybody wants Krishna as their husband, they have to follow the mood of gopis. So, like, you know, she wrote this Tirupavai. Tiru means very pious. Tirumala. Tirupati, we say. Tiru means Lakshmi. Tiru means pious. Tiru means transcendental. Tiru means sacred. Tiru means pure. Pavai, her song. Tirupavai, the pious song. The, the sacred song. She wrote Tirupavai. In this month, like, you know, all the Sri Vaishnavas, every day they write, every day they read the entire 30 Pasurams, what they call, and like, you know, one per day, and they read all of them, but one per day they discuss. So, Tirupavai, in all these 30 slokas, what is Andal's prayer, what is Andal's sankalpa, what she wanted to do, she is, like, you know, going to Vrindavan, like, you know, she is waking up, like, she is one of the gopikas, like, you know, she is waking up all of the gopikas, she is telling them, let us get up, let us get up. Let us take bath early in the morning in cold water in Yamuna. We will take bath and we worship Krishna. Let us worship Krishna. Let us get like Krishna's husband. Let's worship Krishna. This is Andal's motivation. So very much like, like we don't know, like in the childhood, we didn't know much about Radha, but everybody knew. Like I'm sure you all must have seen Andal temple. At least one time you would have come across in your life. So Goda is telling, like, you know, about how to worship Radha. Of course, in her song, she calls Radha as Napinai. Napinai. Yeah. And uh, her mood is the same thing. Like, you know, worship Krishna in the mood of gopis. Like, you know. And also in this verse, it is still that Ye pibanti jalam tasa manuja manujeshwara prayo bhakta bhagavati vasudeve amalashaya whoever drinks water from all these rivers, the great rivers, like, you know, in South India, like, you know, they also become devotees. Why they become devotees? Because all these great souls have taken bath repeatedly on these rivers. So if anyone takes bath, like, you know, anyone drinks that water, Sharanamrita of those great devotees, like, you know, they also become devotees. Prayo Bhakta Bhagavati Vasudeve Amalasheha Prayaha, definitely very soon, like, you know, they become devotees of the Lord. Just by taking Sharanamrita the dust of the lotus feet of the um, like you know pure devotee and honoring their like you know uh, prasadam remnants like you know and taking the dust taking the water and also taking prasadam from of the pure devotee one becomes pure that is told in chaitanya charitamrita so by taking the dust of the lotus feet of andar by taking like you no know, charanamrit from her like you no know, abhisheka um, like you no know, washing her feet we become uh, devotees, like no, so Andal is definitely mentioned indirectly here, like no, Dravideshu um, uh, in this. Also, many disciples in Gaudi Vaishnava Parampara, Vishnu Chakravar Thakur says, in fact, in the entire verse, right, he just give purport to one one word here, that is cha, cha means and. So he says here, and means many other devotees, and all of them. Like, you know, in the Gaudi Vaishnava Parampara, those who have taken birth on the bank of Ganga, great devotees, he mentions a list and he, like, you know, appreciates all of them. Um, that is um, that is true. But particularly, this verse is talking about the South India, Gravideshu, all these rivers are in South India. So the devotees that are mentioned here are the great um, and uh, great Alvars. So by taking the dust of the lotus feet, uh, all of them, especially Andal, we also uh, can imbibe the mood of the gopis and worship Krishna. The first lesson Srila Prabhupada taught all of us is that get up early in the morning. That is Andal, Andal is telling the same thing. Margadi Tingal Margadi Tingal um, Margadi Tingal Madi Nirainda Nannala Nirada Poduviro Podumini Nirpair is telling that let us like you no know, Margari month came like you no know, and then let's get up Let's go and take bath in Yamuna. Especially in today's Pasuram. Every day we read one Pasuram. Even also, I'm also grew up in an Agraharam type of environment from my childhood. We used to hear Tirupavai. At the time, he used to ask my grandparents, what's going on? They used to tell that, like, you know, Aram Valu, Tirupavai Chautu Naru, Tamil Valu, Tirupavai Chautu Naru, Anshepevalu. Yeah. So we used to hear this. Then I was curious. Definitely, we used to go for Prashadam because this month they distribute so much of Prashadam. Like, you know, we have one whole couple by our great partnership. They had come here and staying in our township. So they're doing like, you know, get up at three o'clock, cook so much of prashadam. See, we go to meet them just before our Mangalarti at 4.30. We 
We recite along with them the Tirupavai. We have been reciting last few days. They give us so much prasadam. They cook everything. And not only you take, distribute to all your devotees. Very nice pongal, pen pongal, katta pongal, chakra pongal and everything. Yeah. And today's Pasuram also we read with them. I just want to share with you this Pasuram. Here Andal is telling her desire for, um, she is giving instruction or uh, plea to the rain god. Ali malai kanna onruni kai karavel. Ali ul pukku mugandu kodar teri. Oli mudalvan urvam pol me karattu. Ali and toludai parbanaban kail. Ali pol minni valamburi pol nindradirandu. Tala de sarungum udaita seramalai pol. Wala ulaginal pedai. Nangalum margali nirada magilinde lor embava. She is telling that in margari. We want to take bath in Himana. We want to worship Krishna. So we want your cooperation. We want your support. What you should do? You should make, make sure that, like, you know, we have rain, sufficient rain. We have sufficient water in Himana. Like, you know, how you have to be, she's generally Krishna is compared here, like, you know, generally Krishna is com compared to Nila Meghasyam Asitam Buddha Sundarangam Brahma Samhita says, Nila Meghasyam Krishna. Like, you know, Krishna is like that. Everyone compares Krishna to the cloud, but Andal is doing a reverse comparison. He is, she is telling the instruction to the rain god, like Krishna, like no, you should assume the blue color. He should assume the blue color, like like Krishna, like. And then she is telling that like chakra, like no, there should be um, uh, the, 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 the sky should be bright. Like we should make the sky bright, like no man get tangled, room, 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 like thunderbolts, and also the um, what is it called? Uh, thunderbolt, and uh, we say, Mirpu, what do we say? Yeah, lightning. lightning, yeah, lightning, lightning. So that the lightning should be like chakra, she says, and the thunderbolt should be like the Shankar sound, and you should assume the color of like, you know, like Krishna, you become blue color. And then how you should uh, like, you know, shower the rains, like, you know, Krishna's uh, Bana Parampara, Shara Parampara, like, you know, Sharanga is Krishna's Dhanu, right? Like that you should do so that we have so much of water. We can like, you know, take bath early in the morning. We'll be ready for Krishna. We can worship Krishna. We can please like that. This is the instruction that uh, Andal is giving, like, you know, to the uh, rain god. So, same mood as like you know, the gopis. That's what we see. Uh, and we have to learn a lot of things from, um, from the lives of great devotees, especially Alvars and especially Andal. Whatever we have seen Katyani Vrata in Bhagavatam, that is the same thing uh, Andal is doing, Tiruppavai Vrata. And if, like you know, they're following this thing. Of course, from Parampara to parampara in procedures, like you no know, slight uh, differences are there in details. But one thing we should appreciate is that um, the purpose is same, and the common purpose is to worship Krishna and unconditional, unmotivated surrender to Lord Krishna. Anyone actually, you know what what happens? Andal wanted like you no know, Krishna as her husband. So that's why on the last day in Bogi, like no, like Andal Kalyanam with Krishna. You go to any temple in Bogi or Sankaranti, usually, like you know, any Vishnu temple, there will be Andal Kalyanam. And that day is happening because after doing this Prata, her purpose is fulfilled. Similarly, Srila Prabhupada taught all of us to get up early in the morning, to take bath, come to the temple, participate in Mangala Arati, and take. Um, like you know, uh, here Bhagavatam, take prasadam. He gave the whole formula uh, very beautifully. All the items of devotional service, Chila Prabhupada arranged in the morning program uh, and also the special programs, so that we also become pure devotee. Whatever sankalpa we have, like you know, that Krishna is promising that Satyo Bhavitu Marhati, it will become true. At this point, um, I'll stop. I think I already spoke um, um, so much. If anyone has any questions or comments, like no, you can um, like no ask and share your um, comments in. Hare Krishna, Dandot from Roji. Thanks a lot for 
a very very enlivening class you know making us remember the prayers of gopis and you uh, know and telling the importance of tirupavai probably one basic question i had not related to the same context but why is there this calendar difference between shri vaishnava sampradaya and brahma vaishnava sampradaya is there a uh, logical reasoning behind that or correct uh, we have south indian calendar shri vaishnava calendar and the gaudiya vaishnava calendar all three are different i should not two three in in general like you know we follow the lunar calendar in south india like you know we follow lunar calendar and north india also many parts they follow everybody follows lunar calendar but only tamil like you know in dravida desha they follow solar calendar like you know that's why when sun is in one particular rasi we not all rasis are right sun is in dhanus rasi now so this is a dhanurma dhanurmasa for them when sun moves to makar rasi that is like you know fixed every month it comes on 14th usually 14th 15th only sun will shift so their calendar is solar based based on the movement of the sun that is fixed so this is dhanurmasa then makara masa then like you know so on like that and ultimately meena masa and then again mesha masa starts based on the rotation of the sun sun is there like you now approximately mid of the month to mid of the month in one particular rasi so that is their calendar completely based on solar calendar whatever calendar rest of india pretty much follows that is the lunar calendar but in that lunar calendar also there are two varieties i mean both are same that is based on the movements of the sun like you know and we have 27 stars like you know sun is moving um, sorry moon is moving like you know one day we say ashwini bharani krutika rohini and so on like you now the based on the movement of the um, sun the lunar calendar is there but whenever like you know there is a gap but uh, solar calendar is 30 days lunar calendar is like you know 27 of 28 days something like that so there is a gap so this gap once in a four years to make both of them equal there is a adhika mas that's what we call purushottam mas whenever there is a gap like you no know, gap is adjusted after every four years that is purushottam mas and anything extra that is for krishna so that month is called as purushottam mas we know uh, so 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 probably sorry two types sorry. of lunar calendars Yes, so you are saying that so you are saying that purushottam mas is for mostly the people who follow the lunar calendar purushottam mas is for only for lunar calendar because uh, in dravida desha there is no uh, adhika mas oh krishna i never knew this thank you thank you for clarifying so yeah and the two types of lunar calendars i'll tell you one starts one basically after amavasya like no amavasya is the last day and the next day padyami starts like no that is shukla paksha padyami that means waxing moon like no we say like no shukla paksha tendrulaga is dina dina pravardhamana avutunnaru ani cheptuntam telugu lo means every day the moon is growing right so for south india telugu people the lunar calendar starts with padyami after amavasya for wide gaudiya vaishnavas they take lunar calendar starting next day to padyami that's why there is a 15 days difference so we also follow calendar lunar calendar and gaudiya vaishnavas like you know, gaudiya vaishnava also follows south indians also follow the 15 days difference is there they calculate from moon purnima to purnima we calculate from amavasya to amavasya that's why and actually particular not amavasya to amavasya padyami to amavasya but uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu is born on gaur purnima so they started new um, yuga basically yuga of the we say like you know, or in what is that epoch something like that is english for so that's why pavanami is taken as a pramana i mean the, the, the first day for us in the month and uh, pavanami to pavanami month is ending that's why there is a 15 days difference between our kartik um, in gaudiya vaishnavism and south indian kartik but both are lunar calendar thank you prabhu really helpful today Anyone else has any other? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Dhanod Pranam. Yeah, go ahead, Satyadev Prabhu. Ah, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Uh, I have one question. Like uh, in uh, past times of Krishna, Krishna has shown the Paramatma Swarup like during the Brahma Vimocana Lila and also you know uh, when um, during the Govardhan Lila. 
so he exhibits that you know he is a supreme lord is parmatma to a lot of people actually even brahma knows that and, and also at the same time when it comes to uh, you know uh, the love with uh, yashoda he also exhibited like he you know when during the past time of you know that uh, you know, when uh, mother running behind krishna and to beat him he he does that like he fears uh, mother and he goes to mother and you now he want to feed uh, he will gets uh, milk from uh, mother yashoda and uh, you know it's not, it's not like acting or something it's real i mean really he want he's like a behaves like a son of mother yashoda so and at the same time he also performs a uh, parmatma to you know he shows, he shows that he is the supreme personality of godhead so how this uh, two things he does at the same time prabhu how krishna does two things at the same time one side at home like is behaving like a small child um and uh, like you know taking milk from mother ashoda and also uh, like you know running in fear the fear personified uh, is running in fear of mother ashoda and how the same krishna exhibiting not exactly his parmatma feature but exhibiting his opulence like you know in through brahma and others like you no know, how to understand how can krishna do two things simultaneously not two things he is doing many things simultaneously yeah one place he is with his wives playing dice and then he was protecting draupadi there and some place like you no know, he is doing in fact narada muni went to see what krishna is doing like you no know, in all these palaces which palace krishna is there he wanted to go very quickly and see he went to all 16108 108 palaces somewhere krishna is doing his prayers somewhere is doing yagna somewhere is doing namakarana and other ceremonies for his children somewhere is receiving gifts somewhere like you know this thing and that night he had seen krishna like uh, uh, like uh, in uh, in disguise krishna is moving in dwarka to find out what people are talking about him so krishna does many things because he is a supreme lord that is why that is what is uh, he says na pashyame yoga maishwara bhagavad gita he says that look at my opulence uh, that's why he is god he can do and at the same time see he is having in 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 like you know being in vrindavan also he is exchanging different rasas with different people he is exchanging vatsalya rasa uh, vatsalya rasa with um, mother ashoda and elderly gopis he is exchanging sakya rasa with friends chantarasa with cows and also like you no know, um madhurya rata or rasa with uh, gopis uh, and so on like you no know. but in same lila also in govardhan lila we hear from acharyas that like you no know, simultaneously is exchanging all the rasas with all the people otherwise during the day time he is with the gopas during the night time he is with gopis but in the govardhan lila everybody was together no he is exchanging so the supreme lord is lila's are inconceivable he can do anything and everything um, at any point of time uh, because he is the supreme lord he can expand see all the gopis thought that krishna is with them only in ras lila because he expanded into how many gopis are there someone counts one of the acharyas they say 1 billion gopis one night of brahma there with krishna krishna expanded into 1 billion forms what brahma has seen is nothing uh then like you know, what krishna exhibited in ras lila only the denizens of heaven by their good fortune they were able to see like you know, every gopi that krishna is with with uh, her only so krishna expanded into unlimited uh, forms that is his opulence chaitanya charitamrita it is explained like you know on krishna's um, avataras like you know. he is the fountain head of all incarnations and in the same form swamsha form krishna can expand simultaneously into a billion and unlimited um, forms and he can exchange rasa with unlimited number of um, devotees simultaneously and all the time thank you thank you so much prabhu ji i mean is it only pure, purely because of the love for yashoda mata that he has exhibited because i mean like he fearing uh, i mean fearing for uh, just for the stick and he is carry mother is carrying and then it's like acting 
exactly like a small child is just because mother yashoda wanted krishna to behave like that is it real or not is that the question no is no it, i mean is it for is it for whom like is it just because because of the love for mother yashoda he has uh, he has behaved like that is it for love for mother yashoda no 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 more than love for mother yashoda from um, love for mother yashoda because krishna really is not acting krishna is like you know really fearful he is really crying that is very much true in fact kunti mm. devi says gopyadade tai kritagasi dhama tavat yase ya gopyadadi tai kritagasi dhama tavat yate dashastu kalilanjana samravaksham what is the third line kunti devi prays says that this is very bewildering to her how kunti knows is that in childhood of course kunti spent some time in vrindavan according to one of the commentators of bhagavatam when like you know after pandu maharaj left she came so she had seen the damodar delight since when it happened she says that it is very bewildering to me why because the fear personified krishna he is now afraid of ashoda is krishna acting like that he is not acting he is not that is real and krishna is crying krishna is this how he can do that by his achintya potency like you know by his potency like you know he can be like that yeah it is not that he is acting or just to give uh, some entertainment to um, like you know his devotees is not doing like that he is really like you know behaving like that like a small child like uh, wanting to eat butter being naughty wanted to distribute to monkeys and this thing so that's why the gopi said one complaint on this like you know that time also as lord rama you also uh, like you no know, entertain monkeys now also like you no know, as krishna you are entertaining monkeys so that is he, he really uh, in it not that uh, he is acting like that just to give uh, entertainment to others it's That's not drama right. it is <laughs> real reality yes, true and prabhu ji one more question like does gopis already know that krishna is parmatma and yet they want to i know uh, they want they want go krishna to be as lover for them whether gopis no krishna sometimes says sometimes no if sometimes says and sometimes no what will you say they don't know because in their if you see gopi geet they says that nakalu gopika nandano bhavan akila dehi nam antaratma de they know this is nakalu gopika nandano bhavan he is not son of that gopi yashoda akila dehi nam antaratma de he is parmatma in all living in they know but they forget like no so if sometimes says and sometimes no means no they don't know in the purport also it says no they don't know that krishna is the supreme lord in the purport also maharaj is writing that uh, like no they don't know krishna's grandeur as like no because he's supreme lord they are not loving him because he's like no um his most handsome personality and everything in raja revolves around them and they simply love him for his pleasure and they don't even know in fact when gopis are searching for krishna in one place krishna appeared like narayana with four hands then the gopis saw same krishna in the narayana form they offered dandavats and they just inquired about him where is krishna which way have you seen krishna that is their question yeah. hare krishna prabhu ji uh, i have i have a comment and a question related to that prabhu ji we hear about karma yoga you know krishna talk karma yoga in uh, bhagavad gita right. and then he ends with gyana yoga in between he gives bhakti yoga and mm-hmm. when we see the example of gopis um mm-hmm. they are perfectly following the principles of karma yoga the essence of karma yoga ultimately that without any attachment they are in love with krishna um and uh, uh, you know and they don't need any of this gyana yoga you know uh, to get attracted to krishna they are already attracted so you know sometimes i feel this karma yoga gyana yoga is it is it a distraction for pure devotees i mean or how does it complement with their bhakti is karma yoga gyan yoga distraction for devotees 
the pure devotees the brajavasis of course they are not doing karma yoga neither gopis or when anybody in vrindavan they are not doing karma yoga they are not doing jnana yoga see what is karma yoga karma yoga is as per bhagavad gita karma yoga is doing karma which is prescribed activity in the scripture based on varna and based on ashrama prescribed activities based on varna and ashram varna and ashrama without attachment to the duties or to the results without like you know detachment like you know for the pleasure i mean for the purpose of yagya it is executed that is karma yoga so and of course jnana yoga is cultivating various qualities like amanitvam adambitvam and ultimately like you know understanding the difference of body and soul and gradually coming to the platform of dhyana or bhakti that is jnana yoga but whether karma and jnana are they distraction for bhakti no because karma means activity jnana means knowledge bhakti has both karma and jnana in it so bhakti has the component of karma and karma because there is activity that's why krishna says in bhagavad gita one interesting verse somewhere he says lokesmin vivida nishta there are two nishtas in the loka why krishna says only two there should be three right karma jnana and bhakti hmm. but krishna says vivida nishta two kinds of nishta one nishta is activity there is activity activity in it other nishta is there is no activity simply cultivating knowledge so since bhakti yoga has the bhakti yoga is also karma nishta because there is an activity in, involved in it doing for krishna only there like you know it is doing for uh, because scripture says doing it without detachment and whatever it is here simply to please krishna activity is there there may be scripture is telling to follow ekadashi like you no know, there may be there here like you know to please krishna one fasting on ekadashi that's what it is um, like you no know. and uh, there is a component of jnana also in bhakti in fact seven chapter to 12 chapter we will say like you no know, it is um, it is um it is uh, bhakti yoga but it starts with jnana vigyana yoga hmm? krishna says jnanam teham sa vigyanam and ninth chapter also says most confidential knowledge if it is bhakti yoga why knowledge is coming because that knowledge is a knowledge of the supreme lord that is bhakti so karma and jnana actually are components of bhakti when they are in bhakti we don't take it is karma and jnana it's all bhakti in bhakti yoga every activity is bhakti bhakti yoga uh, learning about the lord and uh, like you know cultivating knowledge is bhakti so in one sense they are not distraction for devotees but for pure devotion definition when we hear from rupa goswami anya vilashta sunyam jnana karma adi anavrutam anukulyena krishna anusilanam bhakti ruttama that is that karma and jnana what we are talking about is like you know the karma yoga and jnana yoga and any kind of like you no know, karma vasanas are like you no know, speculative processes are our knowledge so it only talks about pure devotional service but in devotion definitely there is activity that's why prabhupada did not everybody before prabhupada translated bhakti as devotion only prabhupada translated bhakti as devotional service service means an activity so the karma component is included in bhakti similarly knowledge without knowledge if we doing it's not so relishable we don't understand sometimes people who are worship sai baba also thinking that is krishna and do this thing so when we have the knowledge about krishna that is bhakti so uh, jnana and bhakti both have their place in uh, jnana and karma both have their place in bhakti but when we reject jnana and karma that is like you know complete empirical knowledge like you know on uh, uh, on brahman like you know just like you know some kind of ascending process and when we reject karma that is not rejecting all the activity when is uh, that is a ritualistic activities mentioned in the vedas that is what like you know we don't take it up we only do shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam and anything and everything prescribed by the guru so there is activity thank you thank you prabhu ji uh, definitely it was from a pure devotee's perspective that somebody who is in so much in love with krishna Correct. you know uh, someone says okay let's discuss jnana yoga like you know, you know that's what gopi dar saying no you know one verse one beautiful verse 
ಕುರುಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ and krishna is trying to give them some gyan like you know, don't be attached to anyone if you are attached to other people like you no know, you become disturbed like this only you go back and live happily and all that then what we know about gyan we don't know anything we are household ladies we, we are not like agada bodas we don't have any knowledge then in fact mocking krishna you know, like you no know, indirectly uh, on that yeah in pure devotees and that platform they mock about uh, karma uh, and gyan like you know, because they are so much attached to the lord and they are already in the highest perfection so so, so prabhu ji you are developing such wonderful uh, websites and so much uh, you know correlation and uh, bringing all the knowledge at one place so someone like me who reads that how how do i make sure that ultimately leads to simplicity of my heart so i can get into bhakti yoga you know how to how to make sure that bhakti gyana yoga leads to simplicity of heart how gyana yoga leads to simplicity of heart see if we read more about lord krishna our like you no know, whatever um, doubts we have that will go away but of course it's not technically the gyana yoga it's also bhakti yoga only because see in bhakti yoga you see like you no know, there are 12 six chapters in bhagavad gita so krishna told first chapter seventh chapter the emphasis in seventh chapter is hearing shunu 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 it starts with that the emphasis on eighth chapter is to remember krishna maha manusmarit de krishna says the emphasis in ninth chapter is like you no know, singing about krishna chanting satatam kirtayam toma so seventh and eighth and ninth is talking about respectively shravanam smaranam and kirtanam then why there is a tenth chapter and eleventh chapter like you no know, when already krishna told in bhakti yoga shravanam smaranam and kirtanam because still we are not there like you know where we can continuously remember or continuously chant or continuously hear about krishna i mean continuously not able to do that so krishna tells about all his diverse energies his opulence and his magna i mean is uh, like you no know, greatness so by hearing that repeatedly we will be able to do our devotional activities like you no know, because our appreciation for krishna will increase so the more we read about krishna more we read about krishna's past times and krishna's energies like you know all these things will make our faith more steady and we will be able to make quick progress yeah thank you thank you very much prabhuji thank you thanks thanks a lot so it's it's actually it's already uh, 8:45 but if any can you take one more question prof from anyone yes prof yeah devotees if you have any question please hari krishna prabhu ji dhanavad pranam hari krishna hari krishna thank you very much for a very enlightening class prabhu ji uh, i would like to ask one question you talked about having the desire and uh, krishna will assure that desire will be fulfilled so if i think of myself i have many desires centered on myself selfish desires so how we can dotel it like uh, your grace you are doing so much you have so much of desire of serving lilan prabhu ji also has so much desire he has a vsk form he had those desires similarly you had those desires but we at least uh, i uh, i don't have uh, uh, I, I actually i would say um, i'm lacking that desire how to develop that desire please guide me how to like you no know, do tell our desires in krishna consciousness first thing is any desires we have even material desire don't simply try to suppress and kill that desire even if it is material desire find out a dharmic way in shastra way number 1 like you no know, just spark the spiritual desires and like you no know, this thing aside for a moment even a material desire suppose you want to get more money like you know, want to 
more sense enjoyment in this thing. Simply, like you know, trying to um, shut off the desire will not help because it sits on the mind. Krishna says it's mitya chara. Like you know, sometimes people have um, this thing. You know, if you want to earn more money, find a dharmic way instead of this job. If you want to shift that job, it's okay. Or you want more enjoyment, maybe like you know, you want to go and stay in some other country for some time, go. That's okay. But don't forget to like you know, chant Hare Krishna. Of course, all these things you have to do under the guidance of like you know, your immediate counselor, like Lilantavo, for sure. But simply shutting out every material desire and externally, but internally keeping all of them, um, Krishna says that uh, that is a mithya chara. But at the same time, the desires which are not able to, one cannot cultivate, like you know, those desires based on dharma, like you know, that we should not entertain. How we will go, even that also mechanically put off will not work. That's where you need counseling. You have to open up your heart. You have to speak to your spiritual authority and discuss with them how you can overcome adharmic. And also it does not mean that spiritual life means everybody has to be pure. Like you know, many times people that are simple living, simple living. Uh, and like Vrindavan, yes, they had simple living, but they are very rich. Now, now, like when you go to uh, anybody's house in like you know, in common, if there are 100 people, you will see like, you know, the buttermilk has so much of water. In Vrindavan, everybody's splashing at each other <laughs> curd and like you know, milk and other things. And the description shows that when they were all coming for Krishna's uh, like, you know, birthday party, they were all having like you know, so much of jewelry that is described in Bhagavatam, described in many other scriptures. They're so rich. So, so if you think that like, you know, some material facilities and this thing don't shut off, we can have. Second thing is, don't tie those desires in Krishna consciousness. And I can give you some example. For example, everybody who goes to US, I also went, I also wanted to go, I went. So I had to learn driving. So I can learn driving in weekend, anytime, evening, night time. So I thought, okay, this is a good idea. Uh, like you know, driving, but I asked my friend, one Prabhu, Nitya Gauranga Prabhu, and let's go to the temple in Mangalar. So we, I was learning driving and I went. In fact, forget, after that, uh, rarely uh, in India, I don't drive now, basically. But my habit of going to Mangalar is still there, like you know, uh, this thing and still every day. There. So sometimes you need some expertise, like you know, some advice of devotees, how to do tail, like in our material activities, like you know, in uh, in this thing, and genuinely by chanting more, by reading more, most importantly by associating with devotees who have like you no know, genuine service attitude, we also can cultivate service attitude. Then we will uh, one day pray for Krishna, like you no, know, give me more service, give me more service. Whether we know or not, we are asking every day by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. We are actually asking, Oh Mother and Father. Or Radhe, or Krishna, please give me more service. Please engage me in your service. We are asking. Um, but when the heart is purified in the association of devotees, it will come. So my suggestion is, don't neglect like you know the material desires which can be fulfilled in a dharmic way. You have to neglect or suppress those desires which are not based on dharma. That's when you need association, a lot of association and counseling and help of other devotees like Lina and Prabhu, um, then you will be able to like you know, overcome. And gradually by taking more association, you will also develop service attitude. When we develop service attitude, more service attitude, definitely we pray that, yes, Krishna, engage me in this particular service or engage me in whatever uh, you like, but give me more service. It will come. It's natural. Hari Bol, so, Hari Bol. Thank you very much. Yes. So I we are very I lucky think. to have Lina and Prabhuji and uh, Oh, no, yes. no, 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 you're not lucky to have me, but you're lucky mm-hmm. to have Madhagopinath Prabhu on the call today because he has inspired so many families, so many families to come together and live. Prabhuji and Madhuri, in the age of Kali Yuga, uh, one of the most difficult things to do is to do things together, right? And uh, that's one of the sparkling things that I see in uh, Prabhuji's community is everybody comes together and does so. Of course, there are challenges. Of course, there are testings. But uh, at the end of the day, they are together. And when I saw that Singapore township, I really felt I should have bought a house there. You know, uh, and when I saw... You're welcome, Prabhu. <laughs> when, I saw, <laughs> when I saw the Nanda Gokulam uh, farm, the vision itself, you know, it's so big. And uh, Prabhuji is thinking in all four directions, how can I protect this place? How can I, 
you know blossom this place with devotional uh, vibes you know without any uh, hindrance any kind of deviation or any obstacle from anyone this is the total focus that prabhu is giving for this and how uh, devotees under him are uh, getting trained to serve completely in the mode of service i'll tell one example is um, you know when when i went recently uh, some of us went for uh, some some registration work um, they are devotees they are 60 rounder devotees totally dedicated to krishna and the way they were even conducting the registration paperwork with the sparkle of accuracy and uh, i could see clear devotion in that you know it was not a ordinary material act because we deal with so many people you know for such work but the way they ha- they were handling to, everything should go perfectly because it's krishna's work you know the aspect of krishna being in it uh, was so inspiring i was meditating on that my god you know uh, this is truly karma yoga you know the, the way they were performing uh-huh. those activities uh, we talk about it and uh, so many things that prabhu is doing i think we all should visit um, you know if possible uh, you know next month in january sometime Please come bro. Uh, yes we all we all should go and learn how to work together Uh, how to how to you know uh, keep that spirit of service in between everything you know a day is not sufficient actually if you go there uh, maybe we should just go stay overnight and uh, next day also spend some time attend a mangal aarti how many of you know that more than 80 to 90 devotees every single morning attend mangal aarti and finish their rounds before they start their work you know in singapore township and like this unbelievable you know i have not seen any temple also in, around the world been been by god's fortune i've seen so many so this is the you know the, the sangha which leads to taste towards holy name and so many uh, sanyasi maharajas are attracted to go to such a place so uh, we need more nandagokulam more singapore townships around the world uh, where we show the world uh, how devotees live together that is one of the things that uh, propas vision also was and i think it's coming true in some places primarily i have seen singapore township and uh, and, and nanda gokulam which is in the making so we'll all pray uh, prabhu ji we all pray sincerely from our heart that your vision to serve propas and your uh, uh, and your plan to make it a perfect place comes true and it inspires many many uh, more such projects uh you know by yours being like a showcase project you know for many others to follow hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare prabhu ji i have one thing yes prabhu yeah dhanavad pranam prabhu ji thank you so much for your time and giving wonderful inspiring session so that's a amazing i heard from rajesham prabhu also so 70 80 families every day attending mangala aarti so what inspiration and how how these people are get determined to come in mangala aarti in all the because is the singapore township and the closeness and apartments are very close is that reason i mean how how did you get that uh, inspiration invoked in their hearts <laughs> i did not uh, invoke them their heart the devotees um, here many of them are um, like no very serious and also making the morning a priority is easy See, one thing we do is um, differently from others is that we don't have any evening program so when there is no evening programs so then people we also request everyone to sleep early because getting up early in the morning is easy but sleeping on time is difficult i see that most people who attend they they sleep on time so that is also helping us so first is mangalarti at 5 and then 5:30 we have bhagavatam class and then they chant of course chanting they may not all do together people have like you know, they do it on their own and some of them in the temple some of them other places by walk or other things but um, uh, not having any evening program like you no know, that is one way like you know, we are doing so that it won't get um, delay and also we don't travel to work because most of us are work in the nearby company it's only one company is here in process and some of the other people also who are not working here they because of thanks to covid they are like you know, not going to offices and otherwise also like you know, there is a conscious effort to organize life and then sleep early that is helping us to like you know, get up okay right. thank you prabhu uh, i have one uh, last and short question if uh, you are okay <laughs> oh, anand, bro. Yeah, go ahead, bro. sorry sorry madhav apna no no problem yeah so this question is actually uh, you know not just you even for leelan prabhu 
So despite of you know such a great uh, achievements in Krishna consciousness and then with such a caliber how do both how do you both maintain yourself so simple and humble you know this with whatever menial things that we get like it gets on to the heads and then we run hither and thither so this is something uh, you know i always try to contemplate try to put some conscious effort but you know i'm having like failing time and again on that so how so there is that? so there is a mistake in that question it's not for me it's for madhav gopinath it doesn't matter it doesn't like kids and then to override us but i know yeah no, no 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 but i want to hear from prabhu ji yeah. first of all i am neither simple nor humble if you deal with me for some time you'll understand both in office and in devotion also like you no know, i am not a, a simple person like no i go getter want to yes, do is, something i did but I, how do you like maintain even you know when you when someone from outside when we came to you right when we look yeah. at it, uh, like you know, unless you speak we wouldn't know or unless someone speaks about you we wouldn't know uh, but you know it's like with <laughs> we material people like we always try to flaunt and show up and i'll tell one thing how what keep what can keep in humble just look at radhesham prabhu of course we are all doing some service to shila prabhu but all of us in whatever way by distributing some books or by arranging some programs maybe for cooking maybe cultivating few people maybe calling them but look at what he has done one once we understand what he is doing naturally we become humble okay. more and more we associate with him we will come to know that what we are doing is insignificant and what he is doing so great so we may have some 50 people 100 people in our group imagine like you know after shila prabhu pat nobody had inspired so many boys like you know is i i sometimes wonder maybe 20000 or more than that those boys they they really want to follow radhesham prabhu and do whatever he says ah huh? ah uh, here as the prabhu is here he is telling that maybe 30 40000 so and inspiring all of them imagine how simple you know what sometimes i write some readers mails i never get response i have to remind 10 times prabhu i want this one signature please give please give they have no time to respond of course they are doing their service busy adesham prabhu every single mail of every person he responds even if want something you gave it just a phone number you ask you give them you will immediately thank you prabhu for the number ask lila and prabhu you must have the same experience everything he has <laughs> he has time for everybody he has time for everything and then he never misses his chanting he continues to inspire so many devotees and like his calendar is so busy but imagine he comes to your place he comes to my place he comes to everybody's place and he says anybody who wants to take bhagavatam wherever they are i'll go you take him so then by associating with people like that we understand how insignificant our service is naturally we become humble so the formula is we should know what others are doing also <laughs> okay true thank you thank you prabhu that was really humbling answer <laughs> Hare Krishna. So let's thank Madhav Gopinath Prabhu with three loud and enthusiastic Hari Bols once more. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Thank you, Prabhu ji. Please, please continue you, to Prabhuji. come. I'll, I'll disturb you to come again once again, once in a while. So we get to hear from you. We get to be connected with you, and uh, we get to inspire from you, Prabhu ji. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. ಅಂತಿಲ್ <laughs> <laughs> you know going and doing it on the road i am very much looking forward for it we are exactly how many hours away from now it's 9 o'clock so 3 12 o'clock and exactly 8 hours from now we all will be in madhapur and uh, you know we'll be distributing so many books of shila propat so please come and join i'd sent a, a small audio clip if after the after the bhagavatam class just hear to that uh, it's it's spoken by zolnaz radhanath swami maharaj about the importance of book distribution it's a beautiful clip i really loved it you know the way he kept humor into it and he explained what propat books can do and what our preaching cannot do what propat books can do it's a, it's a very good uh, example so please uh, hear that and get inspired for today evening's distribution nitai gor premanande hari 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 prabhu ji prabhu hari krishna yeah 
Prabhuji, parking, uh, I mean, should we do any 